celebrating 10 years of award-winning car talk. It's the In Wheel Time Car Show today coming to you from the posh confines of Studio A in yeah. Texas, USA. Glad I straightened things up. Yep. Coming up, we need more Jeff. will review his pre-owned thing of the week, the ah. 2020 Polaris Slingshot. Isn't that great? Or is it? Sling not no, I'm sorry. We'll discuss we that. got the racing calendar. We've also got the stories making autom automotive news headlines this week. <laughs> that and more just ahead on today's In Wheel Time Car Show. Howdy. Along with Mike out of this world, Mars, King Conrad DeLong. We need more Jeff Zekin. I'm Don Armstrong. Glad you could join us on this Saturday. Thanks for being with us today. This segment of In Wheel Time is sponsored by Garages of Texas. Luxury garage suites. Put a roof over your ride. Another one of our uh, Facebook friends did give us what K-I-T-T -T stands for. There you go. Liz Snowden said it's Night Industries 2000. Oh, very good. Night Industries 2000. So, kit. Yeah, well, I, I had the first part of it, at least. <laughs> I, had, I had the kit part. Yep. Hey. We all had that. <laughs> and, and speaking of wonderful cars, award-winning wonderful cars, oh, we have our SEMA friend... Randy Borchardt. He's on the move. He's Who's on the, on the move. Moving, yeah, moving, moving through moving. the shop. Wow. Uh, moving quick. Out at Paint House. Did, did we catch you at a bad time or um, something? What, what's up? He's running to the restroom. <laughs> uh, we're in the middle of moving my mom from independent living to assisted living and just a busy, busy weekend. Well, you're you the know. one that agreed to do this interview. Hey, man, we all have to do our pro bono work. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Pro bono. And he, and he hates to see me beg. How in the heck are you, man? I have We haven't talked to you in six months at least. I know. I'm, I'm good. We're fine. The shop's busy. And really, considering the state of the world, I have nothing to complain about. So why why waste your ears? Is, good for is, you. Is, 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 Jen still, uh, is, is Jen still married to you? I, I have to ask her. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, We I'm, don't see each other. We just occasionally meet somewhere. Yeah, I, I Meet for lunch or something, yeah. yeah. I, I got it. So um, what do we want to talk about today? Let's talk about what you got in the shop, what you're working on. Uh, well, let's see. Let me flip it around here if I can figure that out real quick. You want the phone vertical or horizontal? Uh, horizontal. Well, we prefer, prefer it horizontal. Yeah, but. the landscape. There you there go. You. There we go. Right. It's a wide Much shot. Bigger picture. Perfect. Oh, let's see. I think I've shown you this one before. 65 El Camino. Morrison chassis. It'll have an LT4 eight-speed package. Wow. We've uh, had some wheels made that kind of emulate the 64 SS hubcaps. Oh, wow. Very it nice. It has a, nostal a nostalgic all-GM type feel to it. With it's, some uh, go-fast parts. And, and what color has been chosen for this? Mm. What was that? What color has been chosen for this car? Well, it's kind of a bronzy brown, so I called it browns. Brown. Um, <laughs> just a nice, earthy pearl color. Cool. Um, here's a 76 Jeep truck that actually belongs to me, and I haven't worked on it in far too long, but I love these old uh, J10 trucks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. So and, and the, are you going to do uh, engine mods, or are you going to keep the original Jeep engine in it? Well, it looks like uh, At right. the moment, <laughs> I'm keeping it original. I've learned that it has a, a manual transmission, which I like, and it's very hard to get another transmission with overdrive to fit in these things. Oh, uh, it's the, a long story, but the at the tunnel, moment, it's yeah. a 360 AMC with the granny gear four-speed. Cool. Oh, man. Pulling trees and, down. Uh, and the custom color. Wait. I the, can't wait to finish it and take it to the mountains. The custom color you've chosen for it? Nope. It's going to stay just like it is. It's patina white, and I like it. Oh, okay. Cool. This one is a 69 Vet. Very original car we started with, but not rare. Just had the, the regular uh, four-barrel 350 in it. But we're putting on the wide-body kit. Ooh. Oh. So she's getting some hips oh. and curves. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. It it will have uh I don't know a five or six hundred horse LS three, pretty pretty reliable and uh, you know plenty of horsepower but nothing crazy. So will that have? A I'm sorry. Go ahead. It also is on a Morrison chassis, but this is the first chassis they made for the C three body style. 
You and Morrison, you guys must be big buddies. They, mm-hmm. they must love you with giving you the opportunity for the first chassis as well as, you know, you, you, not that you promote them, but, you know, you go to the best in the industry and you use them in so many of the vehicles that you build. It's got a bulb Indeed, yeah. Yeah. Morrison's become a good friend. Um, and sadly, Craig Morrison, I don't know if y'all know this or not, but uh, he's the son of Art, who is the founder. Right. Passed away recently uh, oh. from COVID. Oh, no, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, he, and, he was uh, in his late 40s, early 50s? 46, yeah. 46, a 12-year-old yeah. son and a wife. And, man, he he was really spearheading the business and, and, and getting these, uh, just moving forward into these aggressive changes within their chassis designs and and making these independent rear suspensions and he helped he and i worked personally together on making the chassis for the c3 and it, you know he's a he became a great friend and he's going to be a mate sorely missed how sad not only by me but the whole industry mm-hmm. yeah well i want to ask you about the car when it came to you it had the original chassis on it and there was there anything special about it or was it just nope. a run of the mill corvette uh, 350 four speed kind of kind of a base model i guess yeah so we're not cutting up or changing anything that's super rare right um you're making uh, it making better it, and, and make and, it more more fun yeah yeah and we had john Craman with meekum auctions on before and we talked a little bit about resto mods and he talked about how many of these plain jane cars are being brought into the resto mod uh world, world yeah. And are making cars that are as valuable, if not more valuable, than some of the collectible cars of the same genre. The same. Oh yeah, look you know. look at the auctions. You take a nicely built pro touring Corvette C2 or so, compared to a big block tri power C2, and I bet the pro touring car brings as much or more money. Absolutely, absolutely, it is. And that wasn't true ten years ago. So you're not doing a SEMA car this year, I heard. Well, the SEMA car didn't get out of upholstery jail in time. Oh, bummer. So uh, we've, we're taking the Ranchero that we had last year in the Battle of the Builders. Mm-hmm. And it will sit with Griot's garage, but it'll it'll just get to sit and look pretty. It can compete for some awards, but uh, it's been it shown. won't be able to compete in Battle of the Builders because it has already done that. We're going to miss you in Battle of the Builders. You've been there a couple of years in a row. Uh, agreed, and we were really looking forward to this year, but we'll take it next year. How yep. can a car sit in upholstery jail? Did you not get it to the guy in time, or where? The, what? What happened? Oh, I like. That. Well, I, I don't. I don't want to fault him. He's a super talented dude, but he is a one man show, and he has well. He as well has had some life events going on and uh-huh. moving to a new shop, and it's just the way things work out. Sometimes you got to be patient and and to get. The result we want, he's worth the wait. This this fifty five's been in the shop a few few yeah, months, like hasn't it? Years mm-hmm. maybe. It has. It has. <laughs> we're, we're we're finally in the bodywork phase. The engine should be back from Don Hardy uh, in a couple weeks. Another LT four eight speed. And but we've had it tweaked up. It'll make probably eight hundred horse, eight fifty, but be very streetable. Look at all that wiring. Yeah, well, it's all clean. And we've uh, we've tried to reinvent the dash, which is kind of hard to do. It's such an iconic look in these cars. But we've made it removable. So if you need to get in there and service anything, you just take the dash out. It's very easy. How interesting That's what is you that? mean, your Corvette. That's what I need in yeah. the Corvette, yeah. yeah my t- awesome. My 2001 Corvette. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, good it's... luck finding anything in the dash of those. Yeah. yeah. Every, everything's in the dash. You just can't get to it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> exactly. Yes, sir. So um, uh, you guys going to be out at uh, Guitars and Cars? We are not. Well, I just talked to Gordon. He said you're invited, but that's up to you. Well, uh, that's that's very nice. No, we. Uh, I have, I've looked. I haven't seen or heard a word about it. Yeah, we we did. It is being it is being held at the Ellington Air Show this year. They're doing it together. Right. Maybe I, that's I, why I, I couldn't. I read find that. It. Uh, that that. So, that, most car guys are also into airplanes, or at least can appreciate an airplane. And oh yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, for sure. That and that, and that uh, the um, air museum down there at Ellington is well worth the trip as well. Oh, indeed, indeed. And who doesn't love a, a, a flyby in a, a fast jet? You know. When is that show? 
It's eighth and ninth and tenth or eighth and ninth this coming weekend. Next weekend, yeah. Next weekend. Yeah, exactly. Right. So, it. Uh, I, I hope you can be there, and it'll be fun to have it tied in with the air show. Well, That's, of course, for a good cause, benefiting the U.S. Vet Foundation. Yeah. Hey, can you hold on a minute and let us play a commercial? Do it, yeah. Okay, well, um, uh, is, it, is this the El Camino that you were showing us earlier? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, a different sir. side of it. Oh, just a different side. I like the it. wheels. Those are cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, hang on. We'll, we'll, be, we'll be right back. Garages right, of Texas offers first-class luxury garage suites to keep your collection in a safe, secure location with 24-hour access. You'll love your own private space that's developed with other like-minded enthusiasts in two Houston-area locations, in Katy and the Woodlands. Visit garagesoftexas.com to see how other enthusiasts have designed their motor vehicle man cave. But you need to act fast. These properties are almost sold out. Visit garagesoftexas.com for full details. Okay, welcome back to the In Wheel Time Car Show, talking to Randy Borcheting out at Paint House. And uh, it's always good to uh, have a tour. Um, so are, are you actually working today? Uh, I will be later today. I, again, as I said earlier, we're in the middle of moving my mom from one facility to another, and I'm going to load up the trailer and go do that next. I got you. Okay. Well, um, we, we don't want to keep you, so if you need to go, just let us know. Oh, I have time. I'm, I'm here for you, man. Okay, well, we, you always are there for me, and I appreciate that. Yep. You always have. Well, you been. need it. You need all the help you can get. <laughs> <laughs> well, well you, he knows us you, well. You noticed that, eh? Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, oh, I was just speaking to Don. The rest of you guys are fine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Apparently, my reputation precedes it me. It certainly does. Yeah. Indeed. Um, Indeed. So do you ha what do you have waiting in queue to come into the shop that you're excited about? All of it. Well, uh the one I'm excited about is finishing the one that's still at the upholstery shop. Yeah. That's going to be a neat, neat project. It's a 67 Firebird convertible, full independent chassis, um, LS3, done kind of retro style, but it's built to match an existing project we already did for this customer, a 67 GTO. So they're both the same color, the same design of the wheels. So they'll be kind of like Pontiac twins, sisters. as it were. Yeah. And, and well, so, I'm looking forward to showing them together. So when is the uh, pollster going to uh, get the car back to you? We hope in the next month or two. Um, I, I just I don't have a firm date, and I, I quit pressing on him. Just said, look, finish it when you're done, and we'll we'll wing it and go to SEMA with the Ranchero. Yeah, and, and sometimes that's really your only choice because putting pressure on him, he that doesn't work well, and you don't want him to yeah, get in a hurry yeah. to finish it and then, you it, know, kind of do something. Shortcut it or yeah, something. Right, right, right. To, an to answer your question, we also have a 70 Cougar convertible. Ooh. I think I've shown it to you in the past. It's kind of a school bus yellow. I call mm -hmm. it short bus yellow. Mm -hmm. um, and it's coming up. But this, here's something we can talk about. This Let's engine is what – was in it. It's a four six Terminator. Came in the O three O four Cobra Mustangs. Right with the, with the supercharged. Makes it. a ton of horsepower. Very unique and kind of rare engine. But here's here's what happened. And I, this is me throwing me under the bus, the school bus, the short yellow short, short bus. Yellow <laughs> bus. Right? Um, we go to fire this thing up. This engine has not run in years, literally, and we mistakenly did not pre oil it. Oh, and we okay. spun the cam. It's not a bearing, but we we uh, ruined the cylinder head because the the cam didn't have enough oil. And we cranked on it and fired it up and ran it. And all of a sudden, we had a noise, and I get to rebuild the engine. Yeah, because so, those don't have a cam bearing. It's just a cam carrier. The cam's just mounted in aluminum. It's a cam on the aluminum of the right. head, correct? Right. And so. anyway, hard lesson to learn. Proof that you keep learning no matter what. I'll, and, ha uh, I'll have to bring out some of that BG pre lube, which is our engine assembly lubricant. And see, and this uh, is uh, what this is why we can't have anything nice around here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so your your plan is to bring God. this, refresh this engine, and bring it back into the Cougar. Absolutely, and and of course, it's at our expense. It's not the customer's fault, hmm. but it's just one of those things in this business that no one wants to talk about. It's embarrassing, but it's just the way. Uh, things go and it was our fault and we will take responsibility for it 
Admit it and, and move uh, on. Yeah. Well, you get know, it to the finish line. And that, that's always what shows the quality of a company is not what, what you do when things go well. It's what you do when something goes yeah, wrong. Exactly. And how you step up to take exactly. responsibility how you for recover it, from it and make sure you do yeah, what's my, right for the customer. Someone once told me long ago, the definition of character is doing the right thing when nobody's looking. Right. That's right. right. And we and, do that uh, here all the time. Well, that that, termina- that Terminator motor can put out a ton of power as well. Oh, they're fun. We, yeah. we have a six. You've seen the black 65 Mustang we did. Right. Um, same engine. And my God, is that car fun? Yeah, I think you actually brought that to Guitars and Cars a few years we did. back. Yeah. yeah, a few years back. Yes, sir. So that one. Anyway, life lesson. There you go. School of hard knocks. How about the Studebaker pickup truck? Does the guy is the guy that Hudson. owns it? Is it is it still yeah, it in his Hudson. possession? The Hudson. I'm Hudson. Sorry. Yeah. The Hudson. Hudson. Yeah. In fact, it's here. Uh-oh. We're doing a little maintenance on it. I I can walk you over to it, but I go to another building and I don't know if the signal will drop. No, that's okay. That's okay. We we remember the truck, so it's there for maintenance. What what do you mean maintenance? Uh, oil change. Just check on things polish the paint um just basic stuff nothing crazy okay yeah he doesn't drive it a lot so as you know when they sit in humidity like we live in you gotta um, you gotta take care of it get the oil out and run it a little while drive a little bit warm it up that kind of stuff okay well that's cool my mess here's my messy office yeah well your messy office uh has got some pretty cool drawings in it yeah. Um, so here we go. Here we got the El Camino. There's the color. It's kind of a bronze, brownish tone. Yeah, but it's not dark. Dark. Yeah. No, no. It's kind of a medium tone. And there's the there's the Hudson. Now, do you project. do you do your own renderings? I do not. Um, most of these are Eric Brockmeyer, who's a super talented guy. Been around a long time. And a couple of them, including the El Camino and the 55, are a fellow named Tavis Highlander. I can't draw like that. And these guys make it so much easier to build these cars. So how do you get the paint that you have uh, mixed? How do, you, how do you get them to render that drawing in the color that you have envisioned for the car? Usually I send them a sample, a painted oh, sample. I see. Okay. Yeah, but and then the, they can they can manipulate their computer to make it look as accurate as possible. Okay, well I got that. You know that, that makes sense. But how about like things like the wheels and and some of the other things you've got going on here? That I mean, that's to me isn't that your imagination, your concept? Many times it is. This El Camino wheel that's styled after the hubcaps was our idea, and uh, we you go to the artist and say, hey. Can, Describe what you want. He draws it up till it looks the way you want it to look. And then you show that to the wheel maker. And he created these off of that drawing, basically. So it's kind of like a police sketch artist. So is that a... <laughs> you, would, you would know yeah, about I that. Think in the same so is that a two-piece wheel with a, with a, uh, a rim and a, and a center plug? Or is it all yes. cut? Okay. Well, that's these pretty cool. These are two pieces that way. We can take them apart do any paint work on the centers, put them back together, and, and they're easy to deal with that way. And what wheel manufacturer is that? These are made by, uh, he's a local guy, it's H.E. Forged, and uh, they are, he owns Halibrand, but he lives down in Clear Lake, and a uh, good guy, hot rodder, been around forever, and he makes us these custom wheels when we need them. Well, it's beautiful, there's no doubt about it. Thank you. Well, uh, Randy, it's great to talk to you and uh, and get the tour yeah. and, and get caught up with you. And, uh, yeah, I guess as, as soon as we know uh, something about uh, guitars and cars, I guess we'll either be there or not. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll tell Gordon that you guys haven't been invited or don't know the data and get someone calling you. Yeah. All right. Well, you take care. Tell Jen we said hello. And uh, you, got, you guys take care. And I hope to see – am I going to see you at uh, – uh, Autorama. Autorama. Uh, I'm sure we'll be there. I maybe that's where we'll bring this Firebird. I don't know. I'd Sweet. like to show it, show it somewhere. If, you, if you're looking for we'll a space, put to, it in our booth. To place yeah. the Firebird, we have space uh, in the 
Oh, we don't? Never mind. Okay. All right. All right. Good Thank you. All right. We'll tech, talk to you soon. Thanks again, Randy Borcharding with Paint House. We uh, always appreciate him. You know, yeah, what, what's funny fun. is uh, AG Forged, I went on their uh, Facebook page, and he has the wheel he made for Randy on a, on a front site. and center on his Facebook page. He's proud, proud of it. it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I want to remind everybody that if you'd like to get in touch with us, shoot us an email. The address is info at inwheeltime. Dot com. Time now for the racing calendar, and uh, Conrad usually brings that to the table. Yep. So uh, this weekend, NHRA starts at uh, Ennis, Texas, at the Texas Fall Nationals, but it's a week-long event. So it's two, excuse me, two weekends. So it's this weekend and next weekend. Now, the Nitro cars are next weekend, but they're going to do all of the sportsman stuff all this week. So it's going to be a long week at, a, at, a, at, a, at a Ennis. And then uh, next week or next weekend will be the Nitro cars up there. On the 17th, they'll be in Bristol. On the 31st, they'll be in Las Vegas. And then on November 14th, the finals at Pomona. So they're getting back into California for the moment. Western swing. Whether or not, whether or not, the, well, no, not necessarily the Western swing, but whether or not the California allows them to have that kind of event outdoors with nitromethane killing everything else in the air. <laughs> I can't imagine they would stop them from having it. Talladega is this weekend with NASCAR. Next weekend, they're at the Charlotte Roval. And then on the 17th, they're going to be at Texas. And then October 24th, Kansas. October 31st at Martinsville. Formula One uh, next weekend is the Turkish Grand Prix. And then on October 24th, the uh, United States Grand Prix at Circuit of the Americas. Hmm. IMSA will be at uh, Virginia International Raceway next weekend, and then their final event will be at Road Atlanta on uh, November 13th. Indy cars are finished for the season. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, the other big, you know, here local stuff that's going on, the Texas Mile is October 29th through the 31st at Chase Field in Beeville, Texas. And they will be chasing again. Uh, trying to extend that 300-mile standing mile record that they set with the uh, uh, the Ford GT last year. Beautiful downtown Beeville. Beautiful downtown Beeville. Right. Well, it's actually out at, the, I think this is an old Air Force or an old Navy base. Mm -hmm. So that is racing, the racing calendar. All right, well, thank you very much, sir. Uh, time now for this hour's car review. Jeff always has a pre-owned car of the week, and it's not that this no, time. No, it's not that it's this time. It's a pre-owned thing of the week, the 2020 Polaris Slingshot. Well, There's that uh, sling snot, uh, shot. Call it what you will, and, and the reason I'm he doing did. this is because Don will make a suggestion. We'll be out somewhere, and or someone will make a suggestion. Hey, you ought to do this, or you should do that. Well, these things have been saturating Houston area, and some of the events we go to, you'll see a lot of these. But the Polaris, for what it's worth, it is it exists, and it's a, some think it's a pointless endeavor. Uh, you know, why do you climb a mountain? Because it was there. Why do you go for two? Because I couldn't go for three. You know, just on and on for excuses to make this thing. So there's no real trunk space. It's weather reason. Assistant. It's got storage bins behind each seat that's probably large enough to hold a helmet, and that's about it. Uh, it's got a glove box. There's no, uh, it's got weather protection. There's no uh, climate control or anything. You do have Dumb. a roof. There, there's, there's a roof available in any one of these models. Uh, it's got an audio and a navigation system, cruise control. Uh, buyers aren't going to be choosy to park it in their garages, uh, but it's for practicality. It, it, for whatever reason, the owners do think it. Um, we may think something different. The practicality is not there for me. But it's a three-wheeler, two right. wheels in front, one wheel in back. Correct. And Dumb. It, and, and, I, and I drove one. Have you? And, yeah, you, and you, you, you would need to drive that. And <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, I, drove I hope one. that there are pictures of that so and, I can hold them up and show everybody. Yeah, yeah. So what'd you think, Mike? I I, I think uh, for you an old guy like me spit that doesn't out. want to have to deal with road rash, it's pretty cool because well, the wheels spin the tires, but you can also drive it, drive it, and you can get a lot of people's attention when you don't want you it. You certainly Why, can. I, what I. I just don't understand it. But well, please continue. Sure. The Polaris calls it an auto cycle. It's a subtle reminder of the slingshot tripod shape. Uh, it is really bumpy, as they say. I don't know what you experienced that, Mike. Uh, the, the road, you get the 
the bumps skip the front end because you got the two wheels in the front and the steering wheels, but you feel it in the rear end, you feel it in the seat, uh, the, all the bumps in the back. The backside bumps is what they call it. Yeah. So, is it a bulbous backside? It, no. It doesn't have that. No, not the bulbous front side. Can you imagine? Oh, you, you, there's some debris in the road. Okay, well, you car would straddle it. Not this. No, because you no. got a wheel, you got a wheel, wheel right, right down in the, the center. Middle. Well, you're looking at the old powerhouse there, and uh, it's... it's <laughs> Well, power, it, power for the Slingshot R, and this is an R because there's different models of a different variation. Whatever. Slingshot R uh, comes out to be a two two liter four cylinder engine, spits out 203 horsepower and yeah, 8250 God. on the RPM. That's a lot in a lightweight. Right. It's 144 foot pounds of torque at 6500. Uh, less powerful version is, the, is that you know 178 horsepower, 120 foot pounds. And who builds the motor? Well, uh, th 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 we're getting to that. It's a Pro Star engine. It's designed by Polaris, yeah, and it replaces the 2.4 liter. It was sourced from General Motors and used in the slingshot up into, up until 2019, and then they changed over. The new 2020 is an auto-drive transmission, which is basically a manual gearbox with electronic sensors, servos, shift gearbox. Uh, five ratios are automatically adjusted. This transmission comes standard in the L, uh, SL model, while the R model can be optioned with either a traditional five-speed manual or an automated version. Auto automated version. Uh, and not surprising, 80% of the people pick the automatic. I want to know how much the damn thing costs. Well, we're getting there on this page right here, sir. And uh, while the 2020 slingshot goes for... $26,499 oh starting God. price with especially the 30999 <laughs> asking price of the R, which was, which was shown here. It strikes up uh, quite a Could bit of money for a fancy play thing. Uh, we'll, we'll go there. He's already moved on. Yeah, fancy play thing. Uh, but don't cast judgment on it because people do buy them. I mean, it's, it's fun. They there, there, are, there are and a lot of them out there. Uh, yeah, there are. And one and of the don't... reasons is in the state of Texas, you don't have to have a motorcycle license well, to drive Well, that's it. just it. You have to go to your local municipality whether you need a motorcycle or a car license and recommended you use a helmet. Now, I've been on the road. These gigs we play in Galveston back and forth. People will be there, and they're just nuts. They're riding on the shoulder, passing cars, zigzagging. It's a two-seater, but they may have three people in it. So but it's, it's dangerous. It's wide. It's it's not motorcycle it's width. Bulbous. It's car width. <laughs> bulbous in the front. <laughs> bulbous in the that front. That should be the word of the day. It is, it is the word of the day, of the day now. We just made it. Dingus. <laughs> ding ding ding. Hey, the In Wheel Time Car Show streams on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and InWheelTime.com. Podcasts are available on your favorite podcast channel. The In Wheel Time Car Show will continue right after these brief messages. Winning the highest sales satisfaction award among all luxury brands from J.D. Power in 2020 tells you everything you need to know about your Lincoln purchase from Bayway. Bayway Lincoln is where a premium buying experience is a priority, and you're invited to feel it yourself. This Houstonian-owned premier dealership is managed by Lincoln Stahl, a seasoned member of the Bayway family. If it's online, in person, or in your own driveway, Bayway gets you to the luxury level you deserve. Bayway Lincoln is on the Gulf Freeway at Fuquay, just inside Beltway 8. Visit BaywayLincoln.com today. Tailpipes and Tacos, Houston's premier monthly car cruise-in, returns Saturday morning, October 16th to the Loopy Tortilla Tex-Mex in Katy. Tailpipes and Tacos is free and you're invited. Collector cars, hot rods, customs, magnificent originals, and resto mods will all be on display. Loopy founder, car collector, and drag racer Stan Holt brings you the coolest Saturday morning cruise in, tailpipes and tacos. Car show season's just around the corner and time to stretch your car's legs in a fun family event. There'll be plenty of fabulous, fresh, made-to-order Loopy tortilla tacos, hot coffee, and adult beverages, too. This is Houston's coolest cruise in, tailpipes and tacos at the Loopy Tortilla Tex-Mex on the Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard just south of I-10 and on the Southwest Freeway in Kirby inside the Loop. Get your ride ready and we'll see you at the Tailpipes and Tacos Saturday morning cruise in, October 16th, 8 to 11 a.m. The In Wheel Time Car Show will be there too. We'll see you then, weather permitting. Gulf Coast Auto Shield has moved to a more convenient location. Now you can visit John Gray and his staff of dedicated professionals at their new shop on the South Sam Houston Parkway between Belford and Airport in Southwest Houston. Gulf Coast Auto Shield is the best at paint correction and ceramic coatings. Clear bras and custom wraps are specialties that only Gulf Coast Auto Shield installs with award-winning accuracy. And all their services come with a warranty. 
Lamborghini, Aston Martin, Porsche, and Ferrari owners depend on Gulf Coast Auto Shield for their specialty services, and you should too. The in-wheel time Corvette and Cutlass have both been massaged by Gulf Coast Auto Shield, so isn't it time your vehicle visit their new shop in Southwest Houston? Call John Gray today at 832-930-5655 or visit online at gcautoshield.com. That's gcautoshield.com. Paint, coatings, wraps, and more at gcautoshield.com. 